This is what God says to his people through his prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, you descendants of Jacob and the children of all the people of Israel. I have upheld you from your birth and have gently carried you since you were born. Even in your old age with grey hairs, I am who is able to stain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. As a child, it used to be that summer was my favourite season. Long summer holidays, sunshine, gloriously long evenings, time spent outside, picnics, barbecues, visits to places and friends. However, as I've grown older, much as I still love the long evenings of summer, these days I find that the heat of summer is often too intense for me. I find myself tired and over the years I've found that my preference and gaze turned more and more towards autumn, the season we're enveloped in at the moment. There's something about autumn that brings to life the dynamism of the passing of the seasons right into our vision. The colours of the trees paint a whole new landscape so vivid that it quite takes your breath away. And we see transformation happening before our very eyes. Jesus, speaking to his disciples, told them that he has come to bring life to each of us and life in all of its fullness. I used to be a midwife and it was always a great privilege to assist new life into the world. That small, vulnerable life, full of possibilities and potential. Yet in our Western societies, we seem to tend to associate life with youthfulness. We speak of being in the prime of life, for example. And sometimes we hear phrases like being over the hill, used to describe those of us of perhaps more riper years. Yet that's not how the scriptures speak of life and ageing. Rather, we are told by St Paul in his letters that throughout our whole lives, we are daily being transformed from one degree of glory to the next. In God's economy, God's design, life is valuable throughout and becomes more and more glorious as we live out those lives according to that fullness promised us by Jesus, freely given to each one of us. Every stage of life reflects God's glory, God's image within us. The glory of the autumnal trees with their hues of red and gold bear witness to the transformative beauty of later life throughout all creation. Age brings with it experience, colourful lives rich in texture, and some of the most beautiful faces I know consist of wrinkles wrought by a lifetime of diverse experiences, joys, sorrows, adventures, mistakes, journeys and wisdom. Our value does not decrease with ageing, but rather we become a treasure chest built up throughout our lifetimes. We overspill into each other's lives to nourish and encourage, to bless and to pray for those around us as we inhabit our place as the glorious apparel of God's creatures and creation. Let us pray. We give thanks in this season that we have a God who sustains us and whose love continues throughout our lives. Surrounded by the beauty of autumn colour, we give thanks for all of your creation, celebrating the glories of your world, the harvest you faithfully bring and all of the people we love. 
We praise and thank you for answered prayers, for the goodness of everyday folk, the kindness of strangers, and the myriad of true, noble and lovely things we have each witnessed in our lives over these past few weeks. In a fragmented world, we lift before you those who need help and ask for your continued encouragement to play our part in healing our communities. Heavenly Father, who orders all things for good throughout every season of our lives, give us a firm trust in your love and care. Rising above our anxieties, may we rest on you, the rock of everlasting strength. Amen.